Welcome to Daily History Report. I am Arthur, your host for the program. On July 22, 1775, George Washington takes command of the Continental Army. His leading of the Continental Army to victory is outstanding. But he did something else that set him apart from other generals. On December 23, 1783, after winning the Revolutionary War, Washington surrendered his military commission to a Congress. In front of the gathered and congressmen, Washington declared, Having now finished the work assigned me, I retire from the great theater of action. History is filled with examples after example of military commanders seizing political power during times of revolution. Julius Caesar, Oliver Cromwell, Napoleon Bonaparte. But an astonished King George III, when he learned of Washington's intention to peaceably surrender his commission, exclaimed, If he does that, he will be the greatest man in the world. The only other person I can think of who did a similar deed would be Lucius Cincinnatus, a legendary former and Roman consul in the early days of the Roman Republic. In 1893, Catherine Lee Bates writes America the Beautiful in Colorado. The song was considered a main contender for the national anthem over the years. By the way, that's a picture of the original. And today, Gambia celebrates its Revolution Day. Didn't know that Gambia is the smallest country in mainland Africa and has 80 kilometers of beautiful coastline beaches. I have friends there and I can't wait to visit them one day. That is all for now. See you again on DHR or Daily History Report. And thank you for watching. Goodbye.